up a man. Yes, Dr. Grime. Your nefarious forces of refuse have once again been overcome by those of good and cleanliness. For, For I, I am a gentleman, man, friend, friend of, of the, the good, good foe of, of evil. evil. Pajama man! man! Gee, that was an exciting episode. Pajama man is the greatest. Oh well, time to turn off the TV. Stay tuned for an important news flash. Pajama man fans everywhere can meet Pajama man in person. Today only, Pajama man will be signing autographs at a shopping mall near you. Wow! I can go meet Pajama Man and get his autograph. Oh, boy! <laughs> Where are we going to meet Pajama Man and get his autograph? Mom, the TV said Pajama Man's at the mall and he's signing autographs so we can go meet him. If you can drive me, can we go? Can we go? Mom! Okay, calm down, Sam. I guess I have a few things I could get at the mall. Why don't you go up to your room and pick out something for your hero to sign? I'll make up my shopping list. Oh, boy! Thanks, Mom! I know an autograph is just somebody writing their name, but if I'm going to meet Pajama Man, I've got to have just the right thing for him to sign. Ooh, and I know just what that is. Ugh. Oops, I think I knocked over some stuff. I should probably put some of this stuff away. Maybe later. I want Pajama Man to sign my best comic book! My rare first issue of Pajama Man! Which is... Not here? Oh no! My mint condition extra collectible Pajama Man issue number one is gone! My favorite comic book is missing! There it goes! Oh no! Something or someone pulled it down into that big pile of junk! I don't know what nefarious forces are at work here, but I gotta get my comic book back! This is a job for... Pajama Sam! All I need is my cape! Oh boy... see the pajama mobile on the horizon because they know the pajama man is behind the wheel of the super souped up super coupe. This car seat six contains a vast array of gadgets such as the incredible crime detector. And best of all, it matches pajama man's outfit. Pajama man first drove the pajama mobile in issue number 15, the race to the great bake off. And it got banged up in issue number 467, the Disintegration Derby. Fun fact, the Pajama Mobile's windows are made of special glass that cannot be broken, only bent. Hello, little sock. My name's Sam. Hi, Sam. You sound sad. Is everything okay? Well, now that you mention it, no. What's wrong? Is it something I could help you with? It's a sad situation. I suppose the best way to explain it is this. 
A sock out on his own is like a sea without a shore. And cause I got some mud on me, I can't get in my drawer. A sock out on his own is just one out of a pair. I miss my matching sock so bad it fills me with despair. They say there's no place for me amongst the clean because I'm dirty. I know none of them can see inside. Having a little dirt on you is not such a bad thing, is it? Inside my heart is truly free from dirt and filth and food debris. But what good is a spotless heart when we are a pair apart? Part of a pair has been my noble goal. Alone I'm less than half. Together more than whole. They say there's no place for me. Mine's a clean because I'm dirty. I know none of them can see inside. Inside my heart is truly free from dirt and filth and food debris. But what good is a spotless heart when we're a pair? Now do you understand my position? I think so. You're sad because you can't be together with the other blue sock, because you're dirty and the other one's clean. Right. Now you're starting to think like a sock. We clothes get very sad when we're not in pairs. Hats don't come in pairs. That's why you never see a happy hat. Oh. Well, why don't you come along with me? Maybe I can help get you and the other sock back together. Do you really mean that? Pajama Sam is on the job. I'm missing something I care about very much, too. My Pajama Man comic book. I saw a comic book. An old half-eaten cheese sandwich came by here just a little bit ago carrying a comic. He said somebody named Dr. Grime was signing autographs at the Grubby Corners Mall, and he wanted this Dr. Grime to sign it. Oh my gosh! I have to find it! If Dr. Grime touches it, it'll be filthy forever! Come on, little sock! I have to find the Grubby Corners Mall! Hello. Hi. My name is Sam. Sam, will you be my friend? It's very lonely being the only sock without a companion. Sure, little sock. I'll be your friend. I'm going to try to find a way to get your matching sock clean so that you can get back together. Oh, that would be wonderful! Thank you so much! All in a day's work for a superhero! Aha! Darkness is one scary dude. He can creep up on you at night. He's real sneaky and likes to hide in the shadows. Pajama Man has used his trusty Illuminator Mark V to defeat darkness many times. Most notably in issue number 15, The Thing Under the Bed, and issue number 791, The Deep Dark Secret at the Center of Darkness. Favorite color? You guessed it, pitch black. Favorite food? Dark chocolate. I brought a friend to see you. Hi. It's you. I thought I'd never see you again. I miss you plenty. How I wish I could be up there in the drawer with you, but I can't. I'm still all dirty. Sam, could you please take care of my friend until we can be reunited? Sure. Don't worry. We'll get you clean somehow. And then you can be with your friend again. It says, Welcome to Grubby Corners. The mall must be that way. 
Ooh, a Pajama Man trading card. Milkman was once an ordinary dairy farmer until he drank some weird milk from his cow Clementine and gained magical milk powers. Pajama Man fought tiny evildoers inside Milkman's body in issue number 619. The Milkman always burped twice. Milkman also appeared in issue number 217, the London Dairy Airhead. Fun fact, Milkman likes coconut milk. <laughs> There's a trading card! The Illuminator Mark V emits a brilliant beam of energy to zap bad guys, especially those who cower in the shadows. It's the flashiest weapon around. With unlimited range and stylish chrome trim, the Illuminator is powered by special super batteries, size PJ. Pajama Man carries it with him everywhere, except when he doesn't need it. Fun fact, an earlier model, the Illuminator Mark IV, had to be replaced when it was eaten by the sofa cushion monster. Excuse me, how late is the mall open today? My comic book is in there and I have to get it back. This mall? Always open. 24 hours a day. That's very convenient. Yes, but rules strictly enforced. No shirt, no shoes, no socks, no service. Got it? No shirt? Yes, no shirt. You got no shirt, therefore, no service. You won't be going to the mall till you get a shirt. I'm wearing pajamas. Is that close enough? The rules are very specific. Shirt required. <clears throat> Not so fast, kid. Do you know the rules? What rules? Ignorance of the rules is no excuse. I'm gonna tell you the rules now. We have a strict dress code. No shirt, no shoes, no socks, no service. Are you hip to that? Hip? Hold it right there. Didn't you hear the rules? No shirt, no shoes, no socks, no service. Right? Right. Know what those rules mean? I think so. I can't go in unless I have lots of clothes. Right, boy. You know what to do. Look. Everyone wants to get in the mall today. I have to enforce the rules, or it would be pandemonium. This is an orderly mall. Even on a crowded day like today. Huge crowd expected today. Why is the mall so crowded today? Something about some Dr. Grime guy signing something. Local kids want to see him. Why, I wouldn't know. I'm just a guard. Oh. I'm a good guard. Lightning's partner in crime when the two of them stir up scary bad weather. Thunder always wears rubber soled sneakers when around Lightning. Thunder first appeared in issue number 803. The weather wore tennis shoes. Fun fact Thunder's bicycle is louder than most motorcycles. Hey, look! Another trading card! Clementine is Milkman's favorite cow. She was abducted by aliens in issue number five. The cow flew over the moon. When she returned to Earth, her milk had strange powers, much to Milkman's surprise. Favorite color, grass green. That hill is steep. I'm going to need to find a different way to get up there. Gee, someone forgot to eat the last of their cereal. That sparkly clean jar would be good for keeping things in. It's got a lid and everything. Ooh, a Pajama Man trading card! 
Hero Sandwich is the leader of the Lunchboxers, an informal association of food-related superheroes. He spends much of his time at Lunchboxers headquarters doing experiments in a secret refrigerated crime lab. Hero Sandwich first appeared in issue number 71. That's not my baloney. Secret Weakness. Hero Sandwich is weakened by cheap yellow mustard. Look at all the drawers in this dresser. It's a long way up to the top. Guess I'd better start climbing. Don't look down, Sam. Hope Mom doesn't catch me climbing on the furniture. I made it all the way to the top. Another card! Scott Bruvers is not just a scientist. He's a super scientist. Dr. Bruvers is the head of SHMO, the Superhero Health Maintenance Organization. It's his job to care for any superheroes who are sick. And since they don't get sick much, he spends most of his time doing research. He's so smart that he's discovered cures for dozens of diseases that don't even exist yet. Fun fact, Dr. Brothers can do two crossword puzzles at the same time, or four if he uses his feet. That fishnet would be useful for catching any sort of critter smaller than me. Wow, what a cool fire truck. I love fire trucks. Hey, there's a sponge. You sure look squishy. That's because I'm a sponge. That's what I thought. You're a bright boy. I'm Pajama Sam. And I'm a sponge. I'm a sponge. I know. Gosh, you're smart. What do you do around here? I eat up dirt and grease and mold. Ew. Hey, don't knock it if you haven't tried it. I love the taste of mold. I'm sure glad I'm not a sponge. Grip. Witnesses to its crimes have trouble identifying it because evil underwear is always changing itself. These illegal briefs first appeared in issue number 413, Look Out Behind, and then in issue number 571, Sit On It, Favorite Color, Off White. Hey, there's a yo yo. I could use a new yo yo. I think it's sort of stuck. Maybe I can yank it free. Oops. Well, at least I got half a yo-yo. Too bad it's not the half that spins. Oh well, I might as well save the string. It could come in handy at any time. I never know when I might be faced with the string emergency. Aha! 
cardboard woman is the most two-dimensional villain Pajama Man ever fought. She was in issue number 338, Do Not Fold, Spindle, or Mutilate, and then returned in issue number 609, Scratch and Sniff and Explode. Nobody knows how or why Cardboard Woman came to be. Her best friend is a piece of bubble wrap. Favorite snack, stale graham crackers. Hello, I'm Sam. Why, what a nice young man you are. I'm Grandma Sweater. I'm almost through with this copy of Knitting Weekly if you want to borrow it. No, thank you. I don't knit. You don't knit? Oh, that's a shame. In the good old days, everyone liked to knit. I wish I could knit, because I sure could use a shirt. Well, since I love to knit, I'd be glad to knit a shirt just for you if you bring me some yarn. I sure could use a shirt. Thanks a bunch. Any sort of yarn will do. Hello. 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 My name's Sam. What are your names? Hello. 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 Can't you say anything else? Hello. 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 You know, I think there's something wrong with those clothes. You must really love knitting. I was born to knit. I got me a tattoo that says so. I knit whenever I have the yarn. I made all these clothes. Hello. 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 Would you like to try any of them on? I'm sorry, but I don't think any of them would fit me. Maybe they would fit one of your friends. I'm afraid they wouldn't fit any of my friends either. Those clothes are shaped weird. Well, since I love to knit, I'd be glad to knit a shirt just for you if you bring me some yarn. I sure could use a shirt. Thanks a bunch. Any sort of yarn will do. I'll be on the lookout for yarn. There's a trading card. They may look cute, but these pasty little critters are malevolent milk molecules, and they're pure greasy hate. They're the evil opposite of regular milk molecules. Instead of making bones strong and healthy, they eat bones from the inside. Once they got into Milkman's body, the Pajama Man was able to shrink himself down and go inside to kick them out. Favorite color? Wow! Cool! Is that your crane? Well, I get to drive it, but they won't let me take it home at night. Aww. Yeah, the boss has a policy about not letting us borrow anything that can be used to knock down his house. What's this crane used for? Well, it's supposed to be used for clearing that junk over there. But one of the control levers got busted and lost. I can move the crane this way. And this way. But without the other lever, I can't pick up that stuff. And it's just piling up. I'll keep my eyes peeled for something we can use as a lever. Thanks a bunch. The sooner I get the crane fixed, the sooner I can go on my coffee break. Pajama Man is the flannel-garbed guardian of Metro City and is the bravest and best-dressed crime fighter around. He never takes off his pajamas, not even in the bathtub. His only weakness is that he is vulnerable to open trap doors. Pajama Man first appeared in issue number one, The Secret Origin of Pajama Man, 
and has appeared in every issue since then, with the exception of issue number 384, when he was on vacation. Favorite snack? Anything, as long as it's bedtime snack. There are so many peanuts in that bag. I bet nobody would notice if one was missing. Ah, oh, the peanut. The misunderstood nut. Those fireflies sure are pretty. They glow like night lights. Gosh, I guess this net is meant for catching bigger things. The fireflies go right through. I could probably catch them in this jar, but they wouldn't be able to breathe. I need to make some air holes in the lid. Dag Blasted dust bunnies won't hold still long enough for me to catch them. Ooh, a pajama man trading card. The pajama pewter is pajama man's super powerful computer. It's over ten times as powerful as an ordinary computer which is why it fills an entire room. The Pajama Pewter helps Pajama Man fight crime, balance his checkbook, and play exciting computer games. The Pajama Pewter is powered by a special kind of electricity only available to superheroes. Fun fact, the Pajama Pewter can also be used to slice bologna. Well, howdy there. My name's Sam. They call me the Happy Farmer. Nice day, isn't it? I guess so. It's as nice as any other. And that's pretty darn nice in my book. Some days it rains. Them days is nice too. I have to put on my wrapper then, but rain is nice. Rain's good for my crops. What sort of crops do you grow? Spaghetti and breadsticks. I don't have much space, you see, but that's nice too. It doesn't take as long to plow the field. But lately I switched to raising these bunnies. They're so cute. What kind of bunnies are they? Well, them dust bunnies. They're fun to raise and they raise me a nice profit. I'm supposed to be able to shave them once a week and sell their wool. That's if I can ever catch them. It would be nice to catch them. Can the wool from those bunnies be turned into yarn, like for a shirt? Well, you got me there. I haven't even been able to get them their bunnies into their corral yet. Maybe someday I'll be able to give them a trim and make me some yarn. If I had a flute, would they follow the music? Nope. I hear tell that you can lasso them, though. Here, bunny, bunny, bunny. Those bunnies are too timid to come near me. Little bunny! I guess they don't want to come over here. Here, bunny, bunny, bunny! Those bunnies are too timid to come near me. Well, I guess that's not going to work. Much obliged, Sam. And look at here. All the other bunnies are following. Wow, I must have lassoed the main bunny. Yep, you done did good. Now let's get these bunnies ready for shaving. Oh, my God. 
That's dust bunny yarn for you. Thought you might like some yarn for helping me out with the bunnies. Now you look like you need a shave. Well, I'm sure this fuzz will come off the next time my horse Ginger licks me. Horses like to lick me for some reason. I wonder why. Well, at least it saves me the trouble of having to take bath. I think you got a little fuzz stuck on you. That's fine by me. Now I know how to shave the bunny so I can sell their wool. Thank you so much for helping me get started with my bunny business. From now on, I'll shave them every week, and within a few years, I'll make hundreds of dollars. Isn't there an easier way to make money? Well, yeah, but it wouldn't involve fuzzy bunnies. There's a trading card! Captain Gelatin is a founding member of the Lunchboxers. He may wiggle and jiggle, but the bad guys don't laugh when their sticks and stones bounce right off him. He gains his strength from his internal marshmallows. Favorite color, red, although that's not his natural color. They are so little under all that fur. Hey look! Another trading card! Fizzy Poppins is the carbonated villain who incapacitates people by giving them gas. And not the good kind of gas. She has the power to destroy teeth and spoil dinners. And when she gets all shook up, her force is immeasurable. Fun fact! Fizzy Poppins can eat through steel. Hello! I'm Sam. I'm very pleased to meet you. I am Nutcracker. I crack any and all nuts easily and efficiently. My, but you have big shiny teeth. Everyone in my family has such big teeth, even a little babushkas. Have you always cracked nuts? Yes, ever since I was little boy. With a name like Nutcracker, I can hardly do otherwise. Isn't cracking nuts all the time boring? No, it's glorious! Hi, my name's Sam. Hi, Sam. I'm Balsa. Did you hurt your wing? Yeah, I banged it up a while ago. It can't be fixed. Does that mean you can't fly anymore? Actually, I never could fly. Why not? Because I only cost 39 cents. Can I climb up there and look at your controls? Don't touch me! I'm just made of flimsy balsa wood. If you touched me, I'd fall apart. Where does balsa wood come from? Ever seen an elephant use its trunk to carry a log around? Well, balsa wood is so light that they use mice to carry the lumber. That's silly. I know. I wish I were one of those classy toy planes made out of teak or mahogany. Hello. Um... Do you know you've got plants all over you? Yes, I'm a beanbag doll. I'm full of beans. It's too bad that someone spilled water on me. Ew. Are those beans going to grow into magical beanstalks? Nah. About all they'll do is get little blooming bean flowers, and that'll attract bean bees. I heard that bees are good for plants. Yeah. But just because I got plants growing out of me doesn't mean I have to like bees. What type of beans are you filled with? I don't know. Maybe they're human beans. Nah, I'm not human. I'm just a doll. So maybe they're doll beans. That makes sense. Please don't stare at my stalks. You don't see many planes that aren't painted. I'm just a plain plane. Hi. I used to be a balloon. Before 
my pot. Do you have any balloon glue? I'm sorry. I've never heard of balloon glue. Oh. Why did you pop? I was playing with Kitty, and there was something sharp that I hit. There was a loud pop. I hope I didn't scare Kitty. My Kitty likes to play with balloons, too. I used to be full of helium, and I could float. Is that why your voice is so squeaky? <laughs> what do you mean? I used to be a big balloon. Hi. What kind of toy are you? I'm a Bake Master 5000. Hey, my Aunt Beth got me a Bake Master 5000 once. I tried to cook a toasted cheese sandwich in it. I left it in there for days, and it never did cook. What can you cook? Well, you can cook cupcakes and cookies and brownies if you buy the special packets of cupcake or cookie or brownie mix. What about broccoli? They don't make special packets of broccoli mix. Fine by me. Those numbers on your front, are they stickers or buttons? They're sort of both. My mom has a microwave oven where the five button broke, so we can't cook anything that takes five minutes. That's inconvenient. It's no big deal. We just buy TV dinners that take six minutes. Ding! Your brownie is ready. Just kidding! That looks like a wad of funny putty. You can do all kinds of stuff with that. Oops, sorry, Mr. Nutcracker. I thank you. It was hard to breathe under such goop. Hey, look, it made a copy of your face. I guess Funny Putty really can copy a picture of anything. So can a box of crayons in hands of an artist. Yeah, but crayons don't stretch. Point taken. I guess Funny Putty truly is toy with thousand uses. Hey there, Mr. Nutcracker. My name is Sam, and I have a nut that needs opening. Yes, comrade. I can open any nut. I have opened nuts for all crowned heads of Europe. Here it is. Thank you much. Peanut is delicious. Here is leftover shell. I'd put it in my scrapbook if I had one, but I don't. So I'll just keep it in my pocket. <laughs> wow, is it ever dark in here? <laughs> Another card! It looks like a lunchbox, but it's actually a clever disguise for Pajama Man's portable bad guy containment unit. As its name suggests, this is an inescapable portable jail that Pajama Man uses for locking up bad guys. It works best on the ones who are pretty small, but Pajama Man's strong enough that he can cram any bad guy in there if he wants to. Fun fact, the portable bad guy containment unit contains a removable thermos with an unlimited supply of orange juice. What a weird swamp. It looks like someone spilled their soda pop here. Maybe I can wait across. Ew! It's all gooey and gucky. This spilled soda pop is a real mess. It's too yucky for me to wade through. I can't cross the swamp on foot. It's too yucky. <laughs> Uh. 
preparing to launch Peanut Boat. This is Pajama Sam, captain of the SS Peanut, ready to sail. Aha! The Earthquaker first appeared in issue number 223, Don't Rain on My Parade. He makes earthquakes. Even though earthquakes aren't really a kind of weather, they let him join the foul weathermen because he's just as mean as thunder and lightning. Earthquaker is the most old-fashioned villain of the bunch, so it's usually easy for Pajama Man to catch him with his modern crime-fighting skills. Favorite food, oatmeal. Another card! The remote remover breaks into people's homes and steals their TV remotes as part of his dastardly plan to force them to watch infomercials. The remote remover was featured in issue number 271, Channel Chaos, and issue number 398, Boredom of Doom. The remote remover tries to conceal one shocking secret. He cuts his own hair. Favorite color, boring gray. Hey, this tree is full of shoes. I guess it's a shoe tree. <laughs> I wonder if they stay up there all the time. Hello? Shoes? Can you hear me up there? Hello? The guard said I needed shoes. Wish I could think of some way to get them down. The shoes are up too high. I wonder what would make those shoes come down. That's the biggest shoehorn I've ever seen. I bet it's really, really loud. It's all clogged up. Ew, it's full of mold. No wonder it tastes funny. I'm not putting my lips on that again while it's so moldy. Hey look! Another trading card! Dr. Grime is Pajama Man's oldest and dirtiest enemy. He is the lord of all that is dirty and putrid. He has sworn to rid the world of cleanliness and spotlessness. His main power is that everything he touches gets dirty. Dr. Grime first appeared in issue number one, The Secret Origin of Pajama Man. Fun fact, Dr. Grime isn't a real doctor. Hello, little guy. I'm Sam. I'm a pawn. Are pawns important in chess? We must be. We're the ones the other players capture first. What's a pawn's favorite song? Way down upon the Pawnee River. Hello. What do you do? I'm a pawn. What does a pawn do? Mostly I just wait to get captured. How's the game going? Don't ask me. I'm just a pawn. Nice horsey. How many games of chess have you played? Hello, my name's Sam. What do you do? I am a bishop. Don hat. What kind of hat is that? They call it a mitre. I call it a nuisance. Once it fell off and poked me in the toe. That's a really interesting hat. All of us bishops have them. We get them at the big and tall hat store. I've never seen a hat that pointy before. Thank you. I try to stay sharp. Enough to poke holes, even. Say, could you do me a little favor? 
I need some holes punched in this jar lid. I'm rather busy playing this game at the moment. But if thou waitest until after I am captured, I can poke holes in thine jar lid when I'm less busy. Ask me again when I am warming the bleachers. How long does a game usually take? It depends on if there's a time limit for each turn. This game has one minute turns, so it's progressing rather quickly. How can you tell when a minute is up? By looking at the chess clock, of course. Hmm. The chess clock doesn't look like it's worked in quite a while. I wonder why. Looks like the bishop's crook is stuck in the clockworks. Crook? Like in cops and robbers type crook? No, the type that's really slowing this game down. Wow! Why do they call it a crook? And what is it used for? Maybe it's called a crook because it's a wee bit crooked. I don't know what it's used for, but I do know it belongs to the bishop. to you ah <laughs> why how did that get there I say thank thee young man thanks a lot do you think you could poke holes in my jar lid now <sighs> certainly ow my head I think I'd better stop now that's plenty of holes. Thank you, Mr. Bishop. Hello there. It's no use trying to talk to a rook. It's like talking to a brick wall. Hello. My name is Sam. Just Sam? I'm Pajama Sam. Hmm. Members of the royal family do not associate with normal people like you. Her Royal Highness the Queen only talks to fellow royalty. And then only with an engraved invitation. What does that mean? It means you won't be talking to her. Oh. Hi there. Is that a real crown? Well, the King is too busy to speak with you. Yes, dear. Rats! It's hard to lasso a tree from below. That looks like a big slingshot! Here goes! Yippee! the best kind. It's soft and silky and it knits real fast. I'll knit a shirt just for you. Try it on. How? I guess I should have left at least one neck hole. Oh dear, this can't possibly fit you. But still, it's a very nice, um, shirt. 
I'm so sorry, young man. If only I had a pattern to work from, I know I could make you a fine shirt. I'll get you a pattern to work from. Does it have to be any particular kind of pattern? No, it has to show your specific size and shape. Of course. You must really love knitting. I was born to knit. I got me a tattoo that says so. I knit whenever I have the yarn. I made all these clothes. Hello. 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 Would you like to try any of them on? I'm sorry, but I don't think any of them would fit me. Maybe they would fit one of your friends. I'm afraid they wouldn't fit any of my friends either. Those clothes are shaped weird. Well, since I love to knit, I'd be glad to knit a shirt just for you if you bring me some yarn. I sure could use a shirt. Thanks a bunch. Any sort of yarn will do. I'll be on the lookout for yarn. Can I make a portrait of you with this funny putty, Grandma? Funny putty? Oh, my stars. Goodness me. Well, why not? Okay, here goes. <laughs> My heavens! Will you look at that? It's my exact shape and size. This funny putt really stretches. Let's see if I can stretch it to be as tall as me. Wow! Now my funny putty looks like me. I think I found a pattern. Will this do? That's quite a pattern you've got there. It's every bit as handsome as you. Aw, oh, gee, thanks. Thank you for bringing me such an excellent pattern. One shirt coming right up. Do you like it? It looks just great! Thanks for the compliment. I like your looks, too. Oh, it likes you. You're a perfect fit for me, and vice versa. Gosh, thanks a bunch, Grandma. You're welcome, young man. You look pretty comfy in your jammies right now, Sam. Why don't you just hold on to me for later? Sounds good. Thanks for the great shirt, Grandma. You are welcome, dear. It's firefly catching time. They look like they're okay in there. Having a bee in your bonnet is bad, but having fireflies in your pocket is nice. It would be fun to get into that big water tank. I'd need to find a way to get over the glass, though. I can't climb a smooth glass wall. I'll need to find some other way to get in that tank. Ooh, a pajama man trading card. The serious bowler is a constant thorn in pajama man's side. He likes bowling. He only likes bowling. He wants to remake the world so that everything involves bowling and nobody will ever be allowed to stop bowling. Most people would agree that a little bowling is fun. But this guy just goes too far. Fun fact, the serious bowler can eat his own weight in pretzels. I know where there's a 
big bunch of mold just for you. Oh boy, mold. Come and get me, Sam. <laughs> Hi, Sponge. I can't swim all the way down to get you. Maybe someone else could. Hello. Bonjour, petit pajama person. I am Jacques Scuba, the famous underwater explorer. Aren't you getting soggy in there? This waterproof suit and me big helmet are keeping me high and dry. I am dry as a bone. Can you dive all the way to the bottom of the fish tank? There are not many other places I can go dressed like this. But in the fish tank, I am the well-dressed man about town. That makes sense, in a way. Exploring the underwater kingdom is my passion. I am married to the sea. I have no idea what you mean by that. But I think your big helmet's cool. Oui, it is the latest fashion in diver helmets. This suit is quite nice as well. Do you know sponge? Oui. Sometimes this sponge will clean the mold off of the glass on my helmet. The sponge loves the mold. That is good because I do not like the mold. Do you think you could bring sponge to me? I know a certain place where there's plenty of mold for it. Oui. It would be my pleasure. Oh boy. Mold, here I come. Here is the sponge. Thanks a bunch, Mr. Scubo. You're welcome. I am here whenever you want to hear of the beauty of the incredibly awe-inspiring underwater kingdom. That's not meant to wash clothes in. Where's the mold? There? There! There's mold in that shoehorn! Delicious! Tasty mold! Wow! Did you eat all that mold? All of it! Mold's all gone! Mold all gone! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I ate the whole thing! I think I better go lie down now. Thank you. I'm glad the sponge liked the taste of mold, because I sure don't. I can see my reflection. I guess it's clean enough now. I'm glad this net has a long handle. They like me. I think I'll keep them. The mall guard will want to see these. <laughs> I 
I can't see a thing. I need something that will light up this place. Look, I've got a shadow. These fireflies are the brightest bugs I've ever seen. I think they like the gum. My fireflies want to flee. Fireflies, be free! I'll just leave this here for the fireflies to use as a home. There's a trading card! Dust Devil is one of the foul weathermen. He has the power to blow people around, and also he makes them cough if they inhale a little of him. He can blow down houses of straw, houses of sticks, and even houses of brick. But to Pajama Man, Dust Devil is just a big blowhard. Fun fact, Dust Devil collects chamois cloths. Look at that sucker! Wow, that is some sticky gum. Sometimes cold gum is less sticky. That did it, all right. I got the sucker. Yay! about the same size as the other left. work and stuff. Thanks a bunch for fixing it. You're welcome. And you fixed it just in time for my coffee break. How'd you like to keep an eye on the crane for a few minutes? Like to? I'd love to! Well, in you go. Okay, gotta make the trash go away. I did it! I bet I could wash stuff in there. Hey, look! I found you the biggest washing machine you ever saw! Wow, that is big. And wet. And soapy. Geronimo! That felt good. I'm glad you liked it. It was fun to watch, too. I haven't been this clean since, well, I don't know when. I'll try not to get you dirty before I get you back with your friend. The waves have a gentle washing action.
Hello, my matching sock. I'm home. I'm so glad you're here. Are you clean enough to come in? Clean as a whistle. Hooray! Sam, thanks a million for cleaning me. And thanks two million for bringing my best friend back. Sam, you're a great friend. Yes, Sam, you're a great friend. Thanks. Would you two like to go exploring with me? Well, okay, as long as we don't have to do any walking. And I haven't been out of that drawer in ages. Then hop into my pocket and we'll be off. I'll bet that mall guard will be happy to see you. You can count on us for help if you ever need a clean pair of socks. Not so fast. Hold it right there, Buster. Yes? I want to see your shirt. Hello! And shoes. And you better have socks, too. Hello, officer. Howdy, officer. Hmm. Shirt, shoes, socks. Well, kid, it looks like you're in total compliance with our dress code. You're a good citizen. Enjoy your shopping experience. Yes, sir. <laughs> Are we there yet? We're here! Inside the Grubby Corners Mall! Hooray! It's shopping time! I can shop for a lint brush! Thanks for the lift, Sam. We're off to shop. See you later! Bye! Ooh, a Pajama Man trading card! Admiral Peanut Butter is a jewel thief who enjoys swiping things with his sticky fingers and has the power to stick to the roof of other people's mouths. He is often seen in cahoots with royal jelly. Fun fact, Admiral Peanut Butter has the superpower to be creamy and chunky at the same time. Excuse me? Do you mind if I cut in ahead of you? No way! I've been waiting all day to see Dr. Grime and I ain't giving up my place for nobody! Why do you want to see Dr. Grime? Cause, you know, he's Dr. Grime! He's the grimiest! Oh. Another card! She's purple, she's grape, and she's the queen of the jelly sea. Royal Jelly is a distant cousin of Captain Gelatin, but she's not a solid citizen like him. In fact, she's runny and oozy and a wanted criminal. Once she took over an entire movie theater, favorite color, purple, duh. Welcome to Leavings and Squeezins, the fabulous house of pizza. Do you want to see a menu? No, thanks. I'm just browsing. The creamed okra on a single is delicious. You gonna have any? Does this line ever move? It hasn't moved since I got here. When did you get here? 5 a.m. yesterday. Wow. That is a slow line. There's a trading card. This is the last card of my collection. I have officially found them all. Yay! Lightning is a big meanie who tries to scare people by making bad weather. Fortunately, Pajama Man has learned not to fear lightning. Fun fact, lightning doesn't wear clothes because they get static clean. Congratulations! You found all the Pajama Man trading cards! I'm 
Don't touch. Don't touch what? They didn't tell me what not to let you touch, so I'm telling you not to touch anything. I'm the hall monitor, and I'm supposed to keep you in line. In line for what? All the kids want to meet some guy named Dr. Grime. They probably want to touch stuff with their grubby little hands, too. Who is this Dr. Grime, anyway? He's Pajama Man's arch enemy. Who's Pajama Man? Who's Pajama Man? Sheesh. Sorry, I don't have time for chit-chat right now. Are you going to get in line, or are you going to just stand there? Hang on, bub. You need a special prize winner pass if you want to skip waiting in line. Where can I get one? Try the local greasy spoon, kid. Greasy spoon? The chow house, the feed bag, the diner, the place where the food is. Oh, you mean I can get a special prize winner pass at the local restaurant? You catch on quick. Is this where I can get a pass to see Dr. Grime? Yeah, it is, but they only go to the special lucky prize winners. How do I win one? Oh, you'll know when it happens. Can you give me a hint about winning a pass? No, but I can give you a tomato surprise. How can I win a special prize winner pass? You need to be the lucky 30th customer. What number am I? I don't know offhand, but yesterday I was customer number 8, 9, and 10. Congratulations, sir. You are our lucky 30th customer. Yay! What do I win? You win this fantastical special prize winner pass. Oh, boy! Just what I wanted. It is a great honor to win this prize. It is printed on durable paper and is sure to bring you hours of fun for years to come. Enjoy your special prize winner pass. Well, why didn't you say you had a special prize winner pass? You're special, and you're a prize winner, so you can pass. Please go to the head of the line immediately. Hey, look! It's Dr. Grime! Huh? What? Where? Look! It's Dr. Grime! Dr. Grime, will you shine my hanky? Will you shine my underwear? I'm not Dr. Grime! I'm Pajama Sam! Hey, keep that line straight. Dr. Grime! Dr. Grime! I said I'm not Dr. Grime! Hey, no touching! Dr. Grime! Yikes! Ow. There it is! Issue number one, I found you at last! Holy cow! How did I get so dirty today? I'm as dirty as Dr. Grime! Maybe dirtier! No wonder those kids thought I was him! I need to clean myself up. I can't get past those kids while I look like Dr. Grime. Also, I don't want to handle my comic book while I'm all dirty, or it'll get all dirty. I wonder if there's anything I can wash with here. This room doesn't have a sink. It looks like the only way I could get some water is from that fire sprinkler up there. I bet if I could get that sprinkler to turn on, it would wash me right off. This should keep Pajama Man number one from getting wet. I can't go out there or those crazed crime fans will get me. 
That sprinkler would wash me clean, I'll bet. Hmm. If only I can find a way to turn it on. Maybe if I move the dresser over, I can climb on that to reach the sprinkler. Rats! It's too heavy to move. I guess that won't work. Maybe this coffee table will let me get at the sprinkler. Oops! I'm not nearly high enough. Who's there? I'm your friendly local humans and squeezins delivery person. Does Dr. Grime want anything? Not right now, thank you. Okay, I'll just leave this menu in case you change your mind. This isn't a very fancy menu. I can only order four different things. Cold string beans? Frozen eggs? Iced bacon? Or hot cocoa? One humongous hot cocoa, please. Who is it? Your favorite leavings and squeezings delivery person with your order. Thank you. Enjoy your fine food with our compliments. You have excellent taste. Have a nice day, sir. This hot cocoa lives up to its name. It's really hot. In fact, it's too hot to drink right now. Hey, where does that go? It looks like I can just barely squeeze in there. This is a tight squeeze. I'm a round boy in a square duct. I better suck in my tummy. Ta-da! Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't be doing this. And I certainly wouldn't advise any of my friends to do this. I hope this is hot enough. Yay! I'm clean! Now I can get my comet. What's this? Water is falling from the sky. It feels so good to be clean. Hey, no spot. Dr. Grime? Who are you? I am the squeaky clean hero, Pajama Sam. Today, I came dangerously close to turning dirty. But from today on, I shall fight the forces of dirt and strive for cleanliness in all that I do. Kid, you're a good citizen. Well, I learned one thing. From now on, I'm going to keep my room more picked up so I won't lose anything else this important. And if I do, it will sure be easier to find it. I'm going to be just like Pajama Man and keep the forces of grime at bay. Hey, is that a rare Pajama Man issue number one? Yes, indeed. It is the very rare Pajama Man issue number one in mint condition in its plastic bag. Today, I was going to take it to get it autographed by Pajama Man himself, and... Oh my gosh! I almost forgot about that! I gotta hurry and meet him before he's gone! No! <laughs> Wait for me!
Would you like to restart the game? 